Hi, y'all. I'm Rick Allen, and we're excited about our first show. It's Rick's House with Rick Allen. We're here at Tadlock Roofing, and we're going to be telling you some things about roofing that nobody else has told you, and we're going to help answer some questions that'll take the fear out of that home improvement project, and we're going to show you how to get that roof done and done right. Plus, we're going to add some innovative products that you may or may not have seen, and we're going to get the expert advice from the guys who know. We're going to talk warranty. We're going to talk installation. We're going to talk product. Thanks for joining us on the show this morning. Here we go. Oh, well, it's Rick. He'll help you figure it out Cause it's Rick's house Alright, so we're outside at one of my favorite places to go, it's Tadlock Roofing. Our friend Scott's with me. He's going to take some of the examples of the products they put together, and we're going to figure out what it looks like. Show you, not figure out what it looks like, but show you what it looks like once it's applied to the roof. Today, Scott, we're talking about the composite roofing. We're talking about what we, some of us may say, dimensional or just standard three tab. Right over our shoulder, if you can take a look and see. Tell me what we're seeing back here. Well, these are actually our Owens Corning uh, architectural shingle roofs. Uh, these are uh, these are the duration shingle system. And what we're really seeing that's, I think, important for everybody to understand is we're not just seeing shingles, we're seeing a shingle system. Wow. Uh, because it is, a, it is a whole system of each component manufactured by Owens Corning designed to give you the roof protection that you see right there. So when we take a look at that, you can see the ridge cap on top. If you see the ridge vent, ridge cap, however you want to say, it's different in, in each place. Uh, it's also interesting to see how the, look how the roof lays. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's amazing. Everything's laying flat, all the tabs are down, everything mm -hmm. looks good. Here's what the complete system looks like. The neat thing about Tadlock Roofing here for folks in Panama City is that you can come here and see all the styles of roofing, most of the styles of roofing, actually <laughs> on every building here at the complex. Right. Let's go inside and you show me how we make it happen like that. That sounds good, let's do it. All right. All right, everybody, so we're back. We're in the showroom in our friends at Tadlock Roof Roofing and Solar, and we're going to talk with my buddy Scott about the components of a roofing system and what makes that roof being done the right way so that it'll last. There's a value there. Scott, it's good to see you, my brother. Hey, good to see you, Rick. See you. Let's talk hey, about it. Well, listen, one of the things we really stress is it's important for people to understand that there are differences in the quality of the roofing components. Okay. And many of the times, unfortunately, our industry has been plagued with with uh, just using generic terms, like an architectural shingle. Sure. Well, there's about 17 different types of architectural shingles on the market. Wow. So which one's gonna protect your home better? And, and so that's what uh, I'd really like people to start thinking about is, is what type of hip and ridge do I get? Underlayments do I get? Ridge cap do I get? Uh, as well as their shingles. So we can Actually, look at a couple at shingles it. we've got right here. Here are two of the popular brands that are on the market. Here's one shingle we'll call Brain X. Here's the Owens Corning Duration shingle and you'll notice that if we just look at the way that these are laid out we notice this one's got some sort of seal strip up top here this has got just some uh, aggregate here along the nail line right and we go over to this one and it looks different it, it's got no seal strip up here but it's got this fabric strip across the middle where the nails go but from down here they both look the same so they look the same but do they perform the same Absolutely, both got the shading lines uh, to give additional dimension. Now, would yeah. we call this a dimensional shingle? Would that be the correct term? That's another term for it's it. It's another term. What was the correct term? I mean, what do we use? Is it regional? Well, they're both correct. Okay. And, and it, you just got people that have borrowed different terms gotcha. describing this. They describe this dimensional because this wedge shape that it's taken on, uh, they used to say it was designed to emulate shakes. I've never seen it look like a shake, but <laughs> it, it does give it a more dimension than your standard flat three tab shingles that, uh, that, that uh, we, we just don't use. As much anymore okay. and that's the ones with the straight three tabs on it. They call them architectural shingles too. They also call them a laminate because they're two layers laminated okay. together. So okay. all those terms really do apply. Now the, the real differences here too are let's imagine that we're we're you know the wind coming in here trying to pull at these shingles. Sure. You can imagine Rick go ahead and act like you're the wind. Pull up on that one and see how easy this one tears. Oh, go ahead yeah. and pull it until you can get that fastener off. Oh wow. And then you see how, saw, saw yeah, how that broke not, free. And that's not much effort at all for our audience out there. It's really it's really something. And this is common that we see along this nail line. Now go ahead and try to pull this one up and see the resistance you get there and tell me what difference you experience. Oh wow. See how much wow, harder actually, it was? Yeah, absolutely. And it's still hanging on if you can see. 
it's still it's still hanging on, so there would be some safety there when you talk about that uplift of wind coming off the coast. Yeah, and it might be hard to discern for the folks on the camera, but it really is a lot tougher to pull about, this one off. About twice as much effort. It is. Yeah. Now imagine this too. We've got a shingle. The way these go is there's a strip on the back here okay. that actually is designed to go over top of these. So imagine you're stacking these shingles over top. Right. Well, this one is going to stick over top of these nails like so. This one with this thicker line is going right. to stick over top of this fabric area. Now here's kind of a neat story. One of the engineers that was on the team looking at how they could evolve shingle design at Owens Corning, uh, she was a seamstress. And really? she thought, you know, while we're looking to try to reinforce this, we've done some things with the adhesives themselves, what would happen if we fabric reinforced them? And they went out and experimented with different types of fabric, and they found out that when they saturated through this little fabric strip here, they got 17 times more pull-off resistance wow. than they did sticking to the aggregate. And imagine, if we're just sticking this little strip Very to little. the aggregate, sure. I mean, we can rub that off with our hands. Absolutely. When this sticks here, down to here, imagine how much more wind uplift resistance we get and they measured it, it was 17 times more resistant. Well, did y'all hear that, folks? 17 times more wind resistant, just in a little thing like that. And what's amazing to me, Scott, is that, you know, sometimes we pull things from other industries. Mm -hmm. A seamstress brought that in and made it happen. That's, that's right. That's so cool. That's right. Now, in the next segment, we're going to continue to talk about that, and you're also going to talk with us about how we build that process up from the roof deck itself and yes. come right on up. Yes. We're going to talk about that next. All important steps. Absolutely. When you sit down with an accountant to plan for your financial future, trust counts. And when you choose a doctor to care for your loved ones, trust counts. And when you choose a roofing contractor to protect you from the storms, trust counts. Tadlock Roofing, when trust counts. Proud to be North Florida's only Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor. To learn more, go to WinTrustCounts.com. WinTrustCounts.com. Hey y'all, I'm Rick Allen from Rick's House Home Improvement Radio and Television Show, and we're going to be on Fox 28 WPGX every Saturday morning from 7 to 7.30. We're going to help you not to let do-it-yourself become do-it-to-yourself, and you never know who'll stop by the house on Saturday morning. You can also see us on the rebroadcast on Sunday mornings. We'll hope you'll visit with us. That's 5 to 5.30. So come on in the house. Let's talk some home improvement. Oh, well, it's Rick. All right, so we're back and we've been talking a little bit with my buddy Scott from Tadlock Roofing and you just showed me a fantastic demonstration of how a seamstress helped to improve the shingle. Now we're talking about the difference between the two shingles, but there's some more things we need to know about that. Mm -hmm. Let's finish up talking about uh, the cost difference, those kinds of things. Well, this is the thing too, and we need consumers to know is that there's not a lot of cost difference in these shingles. And, and that's why too, it's important even if there's a, if there's a couple dollars difference at the counter, you wouldn't want to deal with a contractor who's just simply going to walk up to the counter and say, give me your cheapest brown Absolutely. one. Because you might get something that is not sure. as good but yet it still fits the description. If they weren't specific about the brand and type of shingle they were using, they could just say, I'm gonna give you a brown architectural shingle, buy the cheapest one, storm rolls down your street, you're not protected as good. Exactly. And that's why you need to know the difference. And John Q, homeowner, has no idea. No idea at all. No idea at all. They and just all they know really they're trusting the contractor, you know? That's right, and you'd yeah. like to think you could. Unfortunately, these days we know we've got to be real discerning Certainly. as far as who we pick. Absolutely. And so we like to pass along an education like this. The, the nice thing too, 130 mile per hour wind speed warranties. Wow. Uh, and two, when it's installed uh, by an Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Contractor like ourselves, sure. you actually get 50 years non-prorated coverage these days wow. out of a shingle like this. Wow. That's important. And even if you own your home for say 10 years and, and you sell it at uh, that mark, you've got a 40 year warranty on your roof that you can still pass along to the next buyer. So it's transferable. It is a transferable, transferable. warranty too. That's one of the things folks I want you to be aware of is that when we talk with products and one of the things we're going to do on the show as we continue to bring you home improvement tips and provide you great folks like Tadlock Roofing, we're going to give you questions and we're going to answer those questions on things that you need to look for. Number one, if that warranty is not transferable, it's not worth the paper it's written on That's in true. my opinion. So look for transferable warranties because that gives you added value that if you do spend the money and you do decide to move later, an added value to add along to the next customer. That's a great point. Absolutely. Now, 
Well, and, and uh, here too, it's important to know that shingles themselves, that's not everything that makes up a roof. It's a roof system. And right. so like you were talking about too before the break, you start from the deck up and, and you've got to go from there. So choosing the right kind of underlayment, also really important. Let's talk about that. I'll swap sides with you. Here's, a, here's what we used to see is these felts, and you can tear that felt pretty oh, yeah, easily. This is, this is old school. I mean, it's what you see. You put it on, if it didn't get the roof done, the next morning yeah. it's all bubbled up, looks crazy. That, that's right. Absolutely. Asphalt saturated felt, really it's a thing of the past. You can still buy sure. it. If you're not careful, somebody can just put that on. But right. again, for really about the same money, you can go with the synthetics these days. Try to tear that one. Oh yeah, this is one. This is the Owens Corning Deck Defense synthetic underlayment. No, you're not. You can't tear that. You thing. can't it's tear it all. It's, it, it's got. It's almost. It's almost threaded. Almost like fiberglass. It's, it, I don't know what it's made of, but uh, it's a woven pattern. You can see it in there, mm -hmm. and just the, just the additional durability uh, and the protection is phenomenal. That's right. And it, this is important because if if you do have an event, something comes and it does displace the shingles. This is what you've got left is a secondary water protection, Fantastic. trying to protect your home. Absolutely. The other important parts in heavy water traffic areas, we might use something like this. This is actually a, a leak barrier product that self-adheres wow. down to the deck. We'll use it in valleys and around penetrations and things of that nature. So as you can see, we're going to peel that back and for lack of a better term, some folks have call it an ice and a water shield. Mm -hmm. uh, some probably are call it a weather, there's all kinds of brands out Peeling there. Peeling stick. Peeling stick, yep. weather guard, I mean, you, you name it, uh, it's out there. But now this is an actually, the, when the nail goes through this, it's going to self-seal. That's the nice part about it too. It does self-seal around the nail. So it gives a little added protection. That's correct. It's yeah. important too, if you've got a slope below 412, okay. you actually have to use, the code says we got to use two layers of the synthetic, or it's better to go with this product because when you get real low like that, the water Water's can't shed it's as going much. slow. That's right. Absolutely. And, and it can actually get through your shingles. People don't know that. They think it protects in the shingles. It's a combination of the system. It's a water shedding system. When you lower the pitch, it's important you have something like this down on your deck to protect you. Is it is it much difference in cost, Scott? Between you know, I, mean, I know the felt is where it's at, mm -hmm. and then the, and that's the, the next one up. You called it a, the five, the what, what's the next one up? Uh, the synthetic. The synthetic. That's right. But then when we go to this, is there much difference in cost? Not a huge difference. A typical home we're probably seeing might cost you anywhere from six hundred to a thousand dollars to do your entire home in a product like wow. this. Here's the real catch though, is insurance companies these days, they are paying attention to this product because of storm mitigation here in Florida. Absolutely. And now they're giving discounts and a lot of our customers are seeing discounts where it saves them three, $400 a year. Fantastic. So your payback on using a product like this is actually not gonna just protect your home better, but just in the insurance savings, you're gonna experience that money back in three or four years and save that money from then on out. Absolutely, and, I, and folks, I'm gonna tell you, I think it's a great value. Then when we talk about spending money, where do we spend money on roofs? Where do we not spend money? Where do we spend money on our homes? Mm -hmm. This is a great value. You're going to earn your money back. And in addition, because of that peel and stick and because of that self-sealing nature, you're going to gain some additional protection. That's going to allow that home, any event, maybe you lose a shingle or two. We may have still have additional barrier there on top. Of that. That's correct. Absolutely. That's correct. Uh, another important part to pay attention to is your ridge cap. Here are three different options of a ridge cap. This is the common one used in the marketplace. Sure. You know what this is, Rick? No. That's a three tab shingle cut to be oh, a hip and ridge cap. That's exactly what it is. Now here's the thing, if your contractor again isn't specific about what kind of roof, he says, oh, I'm gonna give you one of them architectural shingle roofs, he might use this because it's allowed as a as a common practice to use this. Even though However, it's mixed match. Even though it's mixed match and, and, and the manufacturers do allow these to be used as this. However, what they don't always tell you is this has a 60 mile per hour wind speed 60 warranty. 60 mile per hour. That's correct, where that's oh, 130. So it's real important, again, pay attention, what kind of ridge cap are you gonna use? If you don't ask that question, this is probably what you're gonna get. So we're if looking at 60 go, mile per hour wind, folks, right here with the standard three tab shingle cut into a cap. That's correct. Now, if you use a product designed to be used as a ridge cap, feel the difference in that product. Oh, wow. That's a heavier weight a lot mat. heavier duty. Better yeah. reinforcement on the ceiling. Absolutely. Designed to be a hip and ridge cap. Many times we see these, as soon as you flex them too, they start to break and crack. Absolutely. This is gonna stay on your home a lot better if there's vulnerable spots along your ridge and along your hips but it matches the 130 mile per hour wind speed warranty as well. Absolutely, and I noticed, Scott, that the aggregate seems quite a bit heavier. It, it does, and it's reason why is because they've got more asphalt embedded into this, that's why okay. it's a heavier weight, right. and you can embed more of the aggregate there because there's more asphalt to work with. So back to 130 mile wind per hour if you use the appropriate product. So many times we talk about we use a 50 year roof 
and especially when we talk about metal roofing, that'll be another show, mm -hmm. but we're using a $5, a five-year fastener. True. And, and, and you just got to be careful. Every component needs to be part of the system so that you get the roof done the way it should be. That's a great point. Fantastic. Now, what do we got there? Well, this is another option that you can go even another step. You can get more dimension, more reinforcement. So again, by paying attention to the products and the descriptions out there, you can even enhance your roof further and protect from the storms. Fantastic. And look at the aggregate on that thing. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's phenomenal. Yeah, a lot harder to get this off if you were trying to tear at it. Absolutely. No doubt, no doubt. It's nice too on those homes that have got that nice ridge line where you want to give a little more prominent Yeah, a little appeal. more depth. You see the, the difference in the reveal oh, here. Oh, sure, absolutely. You, you see the, the length here. And sure. so it just makes it look a, a richer, bolder appearance to the roof. And it, again, can be done with a component of the roof and really make a dramatic effect on the appearance and the protection for not a lot of money. Now, let's talk about ridge vent. What are we doing there? What are we ridge vent, here, here's what we do is we always like to see ridge vent at the very top of the house. And you'll notice that we've got a big, nice channel here. This is called the Venture Ridge Vent by wow. Owens Corning. It's a rigid product. It does have the vents in here to allow that air to, to go up and out and sure. then baffles to stop the rain from blowing in. Now, it's important too. If you just, somebody says they're going to put a ridge vent, a shingle over ridge vent on your home, they might get their stuff that you can get on the market. It looks like corrugated yeah, uh, cardboard. Absolutely. And it's like so little tiny. plastic right. stuff, hard to breathe, clogs easy. But if you don't pay attention and they said, we're going to give you shingle over ridge vent, you might get that little thin stuff versus something that's going to really breathe well like absolutely. this. Absolutely. And when you look at that, folks, one of the things that we see a lot of time in the construction industry, Scott, I know you see it all the time. See, notice how the, the OSB that's on top of the roof itself for the sheeting is cut back properly mm -hmm. on both sides, so you got adequate vent. A lot of times we'll see houses, they'll have this stuff running right up here. It has no way to vent. It right. can't breathe. Look at the arch. Look at the bridge. That roof's going to be a healthy roof. You bet. It's gonna, And that, that breathability of the roof is important because it's really going to extend the roof life through that natural convection. It allows to get that uh, hot air to get out. It's going to help save your shingles. This is another Owens Corning product. That right? is Owens Absolutely. Corning. Absolutely. And here's another important part, too, about warranties. Single source coverage on warranties. Okay. If I walked up to the counter and I just said, hey, give me the cheapest this and that and that you got, they could be made by all different manufacturers and if they're all made by different manufacturers they all have different warranties to them so if a product fails within that whole system you might get the the reps come out and they go well no it was that product no it was that product when you use all products like we showed here by Owens Corning you deal with a certified contractor gives you a certified warranty they cover the entire system for that non-prorated 50-year period of time fantastic dealing with one person that making sure that you have the warranty that you need. We've enjoyed our visit with Tadlock Roofing and Solar here today on this segment. We'll be back on another show to talk about the renovation of an existing roof and how we do the process there and what Tadlock does. Scott, thank you, my Sounds friend. Sounds great. Always got it. Well, we're so excited we got our first show done today. Thanks to our friends at Tadlock Roofing for uh, helping us out with their showroom and teaching us some great things about roofing, energy savings, and how to get the job done and done right. Remember, my goal is to help you not let do-it-yourself become do-it-to-yourself, but to help you to ask the right questions, know what it's talking about. Remember, the only stupid question is the one that's not asked.